whatever. thing um, it was just quite a literal representation of really the lyrical content of that song and I had that kicking about for a long time you know the got a fire in my mind I don't know how to put it out and I had that for a long time and it was like a true sentiment you know when I wrote it I was not I was sort of feeling suffocated by, you know, myself or other people, whatever it was. Sentiment flying around, and if that's something that's in your head, you know, um, the only way you can really express it creatively, for me, was to be quite literal about it and being like, I'm burning up, this is fire, this is red, this is orange. You know, um, I guess it's quite symbolic of a time, but also of this time, it's like a rebirth. Um, you know, it's a an entrance, and it's it's a powerful one. It's not me trying to be powerful. It's me being genuine about how I feel, and that has got fire in it. It's got guts and. It's just a kind of honest um, piece of work.
itself has um, been a long time coming. It's evolved over time. Um, it's even revisited ideas that maybe weren't um, as in idiosyncratic as they should have been at the time. Um, the main narrative through all my music is relationships. And um, sometimes I feel like people are kind of think it's it's a bit um, uninteresting to talk about relationships but for me personally as someone who has grown up with music absolutely loves music I've always connected to music that's talking about relationships and relationships are essentially the essence of who, who you are because whoever's come into your life left it loved it hated it um, they make you who you are. So for me, when I sit down to write, it's even if I'm not with someone, um, what I'm learning from something in the past or wanting to know about myself is, you know, relationships are, are mirrors. So you're always learning everything when you're in them and on reflection. I do write about other things from time to time, but mainly it's about people I've loved or love. Um, that's what drives me as an artist.
the cool thing about it is it's a great um, representation of how um, before you know it's happening, something's playing out in your life where um, it is symbolic. So, you know, I wrote Fire in the first lockdown. And for me, it made sense when I decided to finally put something out. I was like, in context of the songs I wanted to put out, this is the, the catchy one, whatever. Um, and then the narrative built around it, but it was already there. So it's like, it wasn't pre-interpreted, but it, it was clearly a thing. It was clearly a, a time, a place, a chapter. And when it came out, it was, it was powerful, you know, even if it's on a, on a small scale, it was powerful for me. It was relief, it was release, it was, it was progressive for me to do it so I could move on, be liberated from it. I feel like um, it's not the, it's not the, the, the heaviest place I've ever been in those songs, but they felt relevant, they felt like they tapped into the past, they tapped into the future, they tapped into the prison. And it was, I made, I made my past self relevant to my current self without betraying either, which was really important. Take it in. But I don't think it would sink in or feel slinky Maybe it's cause it just some cow Don't burst my bubble You could wriggle the grill it don't take out of trouble How did I get myself here? I don't wanna be that matters, that is representing the time and the place. It's not been released. You, ha you kind of harbour the energy you project onto this work. Carrying it around, you know, people don't know about you, are not communicating it, because 
often as an artist, you're it's your expression, it's the way you interact with people, it's the way you communicate how you feel. And if you're holding on to it, it weighs you down. So it was as powerful literally as it was sort of mentally and, you know, um, subliminally. And that was clear, clearer after it came out. There's no going back. Thank you so much for having me.